Hey there, fellows. All right, time for us to have a bit of fun. So a few people suggested we stick a potato in the exhaust pipe or apply some construction foam to see what happens. But that sounds a bit trivial. Instead of that, I suggest we use some rubbers, so to speak. So here I have item number one. I'm not going to show you the other side, but I'm pretty sure that the adults in our audience know exactly what this is. I've also got a rubber glove. <laughs> and a few balloons, a few big ones that they use for festivities. Basically today I'm looking to inflate all of this stuff to the point where it pops, with a bit of help from this car's exhaust. Anyway, so if all goes well, we're not going to be stopping there. I've actually got one more item we could use, which is so much cooler than a potato or construction foam. Take a look at this thing. For those who don't know, this here is a heating pad. Now inflating one of these enough for it to burst actually requires a serious amount of pressure. Anyway, today we'll find out whether our exhaust fed by this engine can actually generate enough pressure to get the job done. Okay then, let's do this. You can see that we've got an aftermarket exhaust tip here. It's not going to be easy to stretch a balloon over this here tip, though at least that glove shouldn't give us any problems. And it's the same story with that other rubber. Right, so I found a plastic bottle and cut off a small piece, which is just the right size for the purpose. Okay, so now I install it. Right, so then I take some transparent scotch tape and use it to keep all of this in place. All right, fellas. So item number one is ready for action. Start the car, man. <laughs> That's enough, dude. Switch off the car. Okay, that went really well. No surprise that it popped pretty much straight away. Now we try this here balloon. Let's see how long this one holds up and if the motor has what it takes to rip it apart. We'll find that out soon enough. Okay, start the car. Let's have a look. Oh man, give it some gas. Come on, punch it. <laughs> Shut it off! <laughs> no, that was much more epic. That was a small balloon, but it went out with a bang, made a lot of noise. It was pretty quick to inflate. Now I say we try this blue one. It's a tad bigger. Let me just... Secure it tightly for it to stay put. And then we carry on. Fire it up! This will definitely make more noise than the first one. Give it some more gas! <laughs> That's enough! You can switch it off now. That was pretty cool. Okay, we're done with the balloons. Now let's try the glove. It is a bit wider, so I had to stretch it onto the bottle. Now I secure it with some scotch tape. Then we see how this plays out. Whoa, dude! The exhaust gases are leaking from underneath the scotch tape. Switch it off. Okay, so the scotch tape didn't have a firm enough grip on the glove. So instead I secured it to the bottleneck with some electrical tape. Fire it up. This should do the trick.
Right, guys, fitting this heating pad actually turned out to be a bit of a challenge. It's impossible to stretch it onto this improvised tip, meaning we'll have to... We had to cut off a small piece from the bottleneck, otherwise it would have gotten in the way. It's too bad the thread doesn't match up. I guess this is as close as we're gonna get. That didn't take too long, and now we're ready to continue, all thanks to this scotch tape, though I'm pretty sure that it'll just come flying off before it inflates to the breaking point. This will require a ton of pressure. It should be said that the exhaust is well sealed, and we didn't have any exhaust leaks prior to this experiment. But that said, this could easily end with a gasket popping out, or maybe a weld letting go. Yeah, we'll get it fixed. Start the car, let's do this! Switch it off! Okay, fellas, here's what's up. As you can see, these modern heating pads are just... This looks pretty weird. The rubber does seem to stretch out, but apparently there's a bunch of plastic in here. It popped almost immediately, which is totally not what we expected. We thought that, after being inflated, it would block off flow inside the exhaust, which in turn would make the engine stall. That's not what happened. As a matter of fact, it promptly fell apart. Unfortunately, we couldn't find an old Soviet heating pad. Apparently nobody has them anymore. Or maybe they do, but they're just not willing to lend them to us. In any case, we asked a bunch of people, and came up with nothing. Okay, so the heating pad didn't fare too well. The 3 liter M103 engine in this thing generates a lot of pressure from the exhaust. We actually put this exhaust together ourselves, and we did a pretty good job. There's no leakage, the gaskets are all new, so it's all good. Okay, so if the heating pad wasn't up to it, I say we try something different. First we attach a piece of hose, then I find a tire, and after that we try using the exhaust to inflate that tire. Let's do this. So we're about ready to begin. I've secured this hose. Unfortunately, this is the shortest one we have, and I'm not keen on cutting it since we're gonna need it later on. So I've removed the valve stem from the wheel. We've only got a few small openings. It just so might happen that the engine won't even start in the first place, but we'll find that out soon enough. I reckon we'll get at least something. So right here I've got myself a manometer, in order to keep track of the tire pressure. For whatever reason, the spare tire in this Merc has a tube in it. Can't imagine why so. Then again, it doesn't really matter that much. Fire it up! Now we just inflate the tire and see what happens. Right, just as we expected. Go ahead! Not happening. That's enough. Switch it off. It ain't happening. The scotch tape is just coming undone. Okay, guys, so here's the situation. Both this hose and the valve stem have a tiny diameter. And since we've got a lot of gases passing through the exhaust, they're simply not making it into the tire. As for this half-assed assembly we've got connected to the exhaust pipe, it just wasn't hanging in there. 
The scotch tape started peeling away, obviously, which in turn led to the exhaust gases escaping in all directions. We were able to inflate it a little bit, but in the end we just weren't able to fill up this tire on our first try. And that's all we have for you. Subscribe, send in those comments, give us a thumbs up. Okay, catch you later.